Hello and welcome to the Vintage Aquasium, the program where I show you all the vintage finds that I bought to flip for a profit. Profit for me, goodies for you. And today we have lots and lots of goodies, but before we start, let's look at the mug of the day. The mug of the day is this made in Poland Irena mug, made by a company called Pruszków. Inside there's peppermint tea, good for my gut. Gut is suffering from overeating, let them be cured. Today I'm going to show you a bunch of completely new stuff in our shop. The stuff is so new that I haven't photographed it yet, so you might wait a bit for them to be listed, but they definitely will be listed because I want to get rid of them. Take them away from me. I don't have space. I do have a lot of pictures and paintings to be sold, but none of them is listed yet. So I will start today from the first in the vintage equation picture or even painting because it does look original. An eagle type bird. Let's call him a hawk. It does look like watercolor and ink. Nice dark green passepartout. Back look like this. Not too big, not too small and perfect for the gallery wall. Just hang it around other picture. Let guests find it there curing the gut. Next thing is also an animal world, this time water world. Water world, it was a 1995 sci-fi film with Kevin Costner. Not too good, but our water world is very good because it's a fish. Good size ceramic fish, clay, handmade, hand sculpted. On the camera looks like the moon shaped scale is blue, but in real life purple, even a little bit pinkish tones. It is a proper quality sculptural piece. A lot of today's things are handmade and to make such beautiful pieces you need golden hands. Are your hands golden? Well, if not, they can be with these magazines. They are from 1972 and they tell you how to do crafts, how to knit, how to sew, how to be creative. Golden hands will show you how to embroider your sunbed. You will know how to crochet a throw. And your macrame skills will go to the next level. All this and more you will find in one and only set of golden hands in the vintage equation. A Scotty dog. This unique head of the Scotty dog also will be available in our shop soon. It is teak wood and it is pretty unusual shape. On the bottom is signed Napier. Napier is a university in Edinburgh, so maybe this is a student project, or maybe it's just a coincidence. And an amazing artist with golden hands was called Napier. And now something big. We do like big things. And this is the biggest thing so far. Hand carved vase made in Haiti. It measures 58 centimeters. If you want to know how many inches it is, try www.google.com and convert centimeters into inches. But it is a lot. It is hand carved, there are people, there are fruit, there are donkeys. All the life forms that you can see on this planet, you can see also on this vase. The best part is also that you can detach the top. Thanks for this, you can have a separate plant pot and plant stand, plant pot, plant stand vase for dried flowers, peacock feathers. It is super stunning. It is beautiful, it is big, it is unique, it is funky, cool, 70s look, 60s maybe even. It's a must-have. Also this wicker planter is a must-have. Simple, cool, I will sell it. I wasn't planning but just take it. Very nice. But what I was planning to sell from the very beginning is this vase. This vase! I brought from Poland. I'm not sure if this is a Polish glass, but I brought it from Poland. That's the fact. <laughs> the person who will buy it will also get some air that I just blew in. Disgusting? I don't think so. I just had mint tea, so my breath is fresh. <laughs> it looks amazing on the window when you can see light through it because it does have swirls of blue. It is good quality, definitely a statement piece. A statement piece can be also this rug. Extreme kitchiness slaps you in your face when you look at it. Colors are fun, are vibrant. This is a small rug. It will look good in the children's room or if you're a kitschy person, it will look good in your room, your hallway, your living room, your kitchen. Kitch in the kitchen. Nails of the elephant look like his teeth, but the trunk is up. 
the tasks are still there, he wasn't hunted by the hunters, he's fine, he's having a great time, he's dancing for you. <gasps> Is he from the circus? Oh no. Plus also he's missing two legs. Two-legged elephant. So maybe he was hunted by hunters. In this case he needs a new home. He needs a family who will love him forever. He needs you. And now one of two lamps. This small lamp has a more Victorian look with koi fish. This is a piece of onyx on the base and it is a little chunk missing. It is not visible with naked eye, but with camera eye, I think it's more visible. You can definitely feel it when you touch it. So don't touch the lamp, just look at it. It works with a screw in bulb and also it has European plug. So if you are in UK and I do sell so far only in UK, you can buy a converter and plug it in into UK sockets without a problem. Plugging it in without a problem would provide you a bright light. Also, I recommend you to buy a lampshade for it. The lamp is working. Just remember, it's not pad tested and it does have a European plug. And now this, another picture, painting even. It is original, you can see and feel strokes of brush. It says Loch Achrai, Loch Achrai. It is signed by the artist and dated 1978. It doesn't have a frame, but it's not a problem. You can easily find something for it. Perfect condition, beautiful colors. Yeah! And now this little Dartington vase. This small clear glass vase was made in the 60s and it does have a mid-century modern vibes. You can use it as a vase, you can use it as a candlestick, you can even put a few tampons inside. Your heart will tell you what to put in. And your heart also will go on, near, far, wherever you are. I believe that the heart does go on. Once more, you open the door. And I know that the heart will go on and on and on. Jack, come back, Jack, Jack. Jack, come back, Jack. Clear glass sometimes also mean clear ladies. Clear ladies equals naked ladies. So now we're going to have some nudity. I do have a set of six glasses with sexy girls. Where's the nudity, you might say? She's dressed up. Well, add some water and magic will happen. These ladies are losing their clothes after washing them with water. On few of them, the paint is a little bit faded, so I cannot show you how they look. For example, this one doesn't have panties at all. I can only see the very prominent bush. These glasses are engraved in my memory. The story time. When I was a child, my dad was decorating porcelain and glass and put everything to a massive industrial oven. The oven was so huge that if my dad would like, he could put few children there in one go and bake all of us for a tasty meal. But he never done this. I remember these glasses in his workshop. What we were doing with my friend, we were sneaking to the workshop, taking the sexy glasses, wet the finger and quickly undress unaware glass ladies. I just don't have a place to stock them. Maybe you will have some pleasure with them. This is a little really cool little rack with mouse. This is a very simple construction, just a piece of wood, metal spring and really cute mouse. Originally here was a sticker that said letters, but it's gone. No one will dictate you what you can keep in here. Letters, bills, photos, digestive biscuits or slices of cheese. Cheese for a mouse. <gasps> oh. The screw on bolt is still here because I do have another lamp. Big, wooden, handcrafted, beautiful, India-made lamp. And it's a decent size. From the very top to the bottom, 44 centimeters. www.google.com will tell you how many inches is this. Base is covered with a fleece, so it won't scratch your surfaces. It's also covered with dust, hair, lint, and all the dirt of the past. This one again has a European plug and it's not pad tested, but it works. It doesn't have a lampshade, you have to provide your own lampshade. Own lampshade! And I know that you will find something cool and funky and stylish and in your taste. That's why I just give you the base. The base is amazing, you do the rest. I'm going to add a little bit boho and natural vibe to my shop by selling this hanging plant pot. Very simple, wicker, with a cool hangy-dangy blip blob. Look at the stunningness of it! Absolutely perfect, 
absolutely fantastic it looks really good i'm getting rid of it so you can have this amazing really good planter in your house and the last thing yellow vase glass yellow vase it would definitely benefit from washing someone was keeping flowers inside but it only means that it's perfect for everyday use it is hand blown it's not murano it's more like a art glass with a little pinches here with a twist all around inside white yellow outside it looks like this amber color is stretched up and become thinner and brighter, create this ombre color. I just remind myself that it was me who was keeping flowers inside. They looked amazing, now I remember. Yeah, this is a masterpiece of masterpieces. It is very nice, masterpiece of masterpieces. Yeah, and now, me being jealous of other people finds the jealousy corner. George is so good to see you, looking so handsome and slim right now. Where are you? Oh, oh, there wasn't enough no idea what that is. It looks beautiful. Look at those comics. It's like Conan! Fake Conan comics. Where are you taking me, George? Look at that battle over there full of beer. Maybe we can book it on a bird! A bird battle and beer! Oh, what is this peacock you are peeking at? Peeping at this peacock with these people. Show me a little bit closer, George. Can we have a look at what it is? Ah, $200 for this! It's from New York. Third Eye Incorporated. This looks very nice. In fact, George is very groovy. All right, all right, nice. George, thank you very much. You have shown me such wonderful colors, squeezed my third eye, and made me feel like this mortal vine in the antics. You're looking handsome. Cheerio. Sure, I'll show you more later. Smash the like button, hit subscribe, it does help to develop the channel, and we need to develop. Doesn't matter what development it is, we as human beings need to develop. I need to develop by buying more stuff. Is it normal? Am I a hoarder? Do I spend all my money for stuff? You don't need to know these details. But what you need to know, that everything is available and you can have it too. Let's satisfy our needs. Your need of buying and desiring new amazing stylish things. My need of buying stuff and money. And that's it. Let's gather here together very, very soon for the next episode when I'll be showing you all the treasures that I found for you. Cheerio!